Oh, I can. Good. I'm annoyed by video apps where you can't switch the camera while you're streaming. Uh, hi. I am at VCS. Um, I would be amazed if anybody manages to tune into this live. I'm mostly doing it live because uh, that's the easiest way for me to do videos lately. So I'm just going to stream it, and then it'll pop up in the feed as just a video, which is fine, because I don't feel like editing anything. Uh, but yes, I am here, and I figured, as I posted earlier, I might as well just do a quick walkthrough, because why not, right? So I'm going to do that. Let's flip it. Um, I don't know how much I'll really describe, because I don't know. I, I feel like I'm mad at that. But uh, let's just start at one end, and I'm just going to walk down the aisles. So, I mean, there's my booth. Uh, <laughs> I got bored and uh, converted an NES controller that I had with me to USB, because why the hell not? This is what goes on here. Uh, I bought myself a desoldering station, which I think is going to finally help with things a lot. It seems to turn on and get hot, and the pump runs, so that's good. Um... Here's this thing. Is it still working? No, it has gotten screwed up. There we are. Perfect. People have been using it all day. I've actually gotten a lot of positive comments, which I was surprised about because it's so dumb and it's not finished. Uh, also, I would like to give a shout out because uh, Trade M did come by. It was good to see him in the flesh. That was fun. He may still be around here somewhere, but I have no idea. Uh, oh, there's actually someone watching. Amazing. Hello. I was just going to do a quick walkthrough of VCF, so let's let's do it. I just finished going over my booth, but here it is again, just for you. It's uh, going okay. Okay, so. I guess for those who have never been to VCF Midwest before, um, I'm going to go out to the hall for starters. Um, things have been winding down because we're getting to evening, uh, but man, it was crowded today. But as you can see, this is the uh, area where everybody sets up their booths for selling shit. And man, the things you can find here. Uh, it pretty much starts right over here, because that's the, that's the entrance. But there's all kinds of shit. Lots of, uh, you know, potentially just straight up broken PC parts. And rare softwares. And, I mean, it's just all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Nothing particularly calling my attention this year. You got Sega CD, friggin' awesome. Whatever this thing is, I haven't stopped to read it, but it looks interesting. More software. A bajillion old PCs. If you want a PC to run Windows 98 on. Oh, Atari. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Just looking at things. Anyway, bajillion PCs. Uh, parts for building computer things. I actually did buy some things from this booth. Uh, and I can't remember what they were, so I won't describe them to you. But, you know, kit parts. You can go on. <laughs> Unless you don't want to get on camera. <laughs> uh, bonus Life. Uh, this is the company that I bought the uh, ST Mega from last year. Um, and they have... Oh, here we go. Uh, Vectrex, Vectrex, which I'm not particularly into, but I know many, many people are, so... Um, HP calculators, pretty dope stuff, uh, and just, you know, casually an Altair, no price, just, just best offer, uh, and a Soulborn, because, of course, wow, people are actually tuning in, that's pretty dope, uh, I hope the quality is decent, I don't know how good my cell connection is here, uh, Lisa, if you want, I think they're asking, uh, 16 grand for this, so. Yeah, a lot of people have pretty much packed up because this is the big day of the show, so it's it's more or less over. Here you go. But if you want to buy some cool shit, this is a place to go. And the free tables. Which actually, there is sometimes some cool stuff over here. Some surprisingly good stuff on occasion. 
lots of fixer upper things and whatnot. Uh, but yes, now I'm going to run all the way to the end of the hall because I want to start at the retro micros section that uh, I am in. Because personally, I'm a big fan of the big iron stuff, so, you know, uh, that's where I want to end. I want that to be the big finale because I think that's the coolest room. Uh, but there is so much stuff here. You know, of course, you've got Commodore 64s aplenty. You've got at least a couple pets around here. 64, 128, six, uh, is that a VIC-20? I don't know. I am not a... I don't, I don't own a single Commodore computer. But like I said, there's only so much that I can describe. I think this is the only Amiga that I've seen at the entire show. Which is weird. Uh... I kind of probably should have started over there in zigzag, but oh well. More pets. All kinds of shit. I mean, it's hard to describe because, you know, even over here, it's a hodgepodge. There's at least a couple of uh, sharp x 68000s At least a couple. Machines that I don't even know what they are. <laughs> Uh, this is the table that I bought my desoldering station from. Just like lots of lots of neat bits and bobs, and lots of things for sale at the tables this time around. Uh, Coleco Adam, how sick is that? Atari stuff. A uh, is that a C? Yeah, it's a C128 doing a Atari ball bounce, uh, Amiga ball bounce, because of course. This is how you can tell you're near my table. And this guy has some ludicrously expensive PVMs for sale. L like I said, lots of sale stuff. Uh, we are back at my booth. Some Mac stuff. Uh, Dave's Dave's uh, FPGA thin client thing that he is writing a uh, Apple II core for, which is going awesome. Uh, Atari stuff because suburban Chicago Atari stuff. Uh, okay, more Atari stuff, STs and what have you. Is that another Coleco Adam? Sure. It is. <laughs> I didn't even notice this OS2 pile. That's pretty dope. I, I have tried installing OS2 on uh, my Pentium many times, and it has the most painful installer of all fucking time. Oh, yeah, uh, this this guy was here last time, too. Uh, kind of a cool collection. It's like History of British Micros kind of deal. He just has a really good setup. And uh, one of these Memotech things, which is... It's... It's solid. But I also tried using it last year, and it's, uh, it's basic. is not very good. I-M-H-O. Sinclair's. Sinclair's. Timex. Sinclair. Giant keyboard. Because. Uh, Mark says, love the NES project. I really appreciate that. I've been getting a lot of good feedback on it, and it's, it's such a silly project that, you know, I've been pleasantly surprised that people, like, get it, for how silly it is. Uh, I think Commodore 64 cart projects and stuff. I have seen these guys before last time, and I don't really know exactly what they do, but it looks interesting. People whose boobs are just turned to themselves because they're not here for you. They're here for their own enjoyment. Damn straight. Damn straight. Okay, so that is section one of three. There is Dave. Say hello to Dave. Hi, Dave. And he'll never know that that happened. Those things, which I should know what they're called. Topo, apparently. Oh, also, if you want an Odyssey, 235, make an offer. 
Just a cool collection of old game fangs. Oh, and they have an Odyssey set up. That's cool. How did I not notice any of this until I started streaming? What a dingus. Oh, and a uh, Heathkit trainer. That's pretty awesome. It wasn't easy to do that thing A midi mountain. Very good. I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm going to have to come back and find out. Uh, I was coming by here earlier. Nobody told me that the Sega Saturn has an official keeper. And I need to know more about this. Because, you know, I'm doing this series, I don't know if you know, where I'm turning consoles into PCs. I think you might have heard of it. Uh, oh, that's uh, that thing. The fair, oh, right, the Fairchild, whatchamacallit. Anyway. I got one of those with the redonkulous controllers. Okay, back around this way. I'm trying not to annoy too many people. Uh, I think this is mostly sale stuff. I love the old roundy compact presarios. I have no idea if that's for sale, but... Yeah, and then this is... I mean, I, it's hard to tell sometimes whether it's sale stuff or just a pile of somebody's cool things. I mean, I guess technically it's both. Yeah. I would love another nice Mac monitor, but I don't know about that. And then you get into the SGI table. One of two. Because people like the SGIs. They all like them. I used to have one of these monitors. And I curbed it because I'm a jackass. I love the Sega Saturn, just because it's a weird, unloved console, and I would love to learn how to program for it. I guess let's shift to this side really quick. A PC Junior doing something. One of those sun crazy rare LCD panel workstation deals. Uh, and that's Ben Heck's table with no Ben Heck. I'm not sure if anybody's here. Eight big guy is still here, but that's LGR's table. They might be getting dinner. And computer plan. And 8-Bit Guy. And uh, tech select. And back to SGIs. I don't know why I didn't really notice... Is that, I was wondering, is that thing... Is it a thin client? I don't think it's a thin client. That's not the thin client one, right? Derek says, need you to get... To get you to come out to VCF West one year, but there probably needs to be more than just that to justify the trip. No, I totally go just to go sometime. Hi. And there's June. Hi. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, I haven't been out to California in a while, and I need an excuse, so that's a perfect fine excuse. I am lingering on this because I never realized that the O2 Plus was purple. That was news to me. Well, I mean, look, is that, that, is that a crimson? I didn't even notice that before. Also, surprised I, I did not see any personal irises last year and now I feel so much less special because there are like several personal irises on the floor this year and that's just a, a mech station that I didn't even notice really nice. oh that's actually an altar damn damn and one of those nice Heathkit terminals and another Coleco Adam. More stuff. More stuff. Oh, I meant to ask this guy if he was selling uh, Model 1s. Because there are several around. And there was another monitor here, so I think they were. Because they have reduced in number. And I would really like one. Oh, oh! I'm gonna have to ask them about the price on this again because I walked past this, and I love the whatever you call this case style. I mean, you know, all in one, but like, uh, it's a 5400 180. Anyway, I I I love that. I had 
one of the Macs in that case before curved it. Are you seeing a theme here? But the price was a little steep, so if they're trying to get rid of it, I might haggle with them on that. We'll see. And other various things, Cocos and such. And that's section two. And now we're going on to my favorite, favoritest section of all, where I was positioned last year. And that is the big iron room, which just has stuff that blows my mind that they anybody even has this up. Another altar, I mean, I don't know if, that looks very fresh, so might be a, uh, you know, a modern kit. But one of the Heath kit, which my dude is? that are on their own bus, but, you know, they're kind of that S100 theme. And just all of this stuff that I don't... How do I describe? Because I don't know what any of it is. Just lots of really cool terminals. Yeah. ASM land says 88T. I mean, if you can make it to Chicago, they do this every year. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Do you, do you see this? That's just a Nova. Somebody just has a Nova. Why can't I just have a Nova? And a working uh, teletype Model 33, I think. This is always kind of the corner of just, like, <laughs> junk in a really good way. You've got the uh, the telecom corner. Whole big old phone, phone exchange setup. Just casually, another Nova. Because, you know, whatever. Many compact mix. <laughs> ADT says, I'm from Russia, so I'm just a Russian spy learning Western tech. Uh, I got bad news. You might be a little behind. Oh yeah, so this the, this person had this these it group or whatever this is has this uh, SGI pile, which is of course amazing. Richard Thompson apparently. Somebody tell me about this because this is a controlled data badged, like it's clearly a personal iris. Case color is different, and it's cyber data labeled or controlled data labeled as a cyber system. So what? I need to know more about that. 2GS with a really nice display. It only now occurs to me, I think, this person posts on Reddit. Maybe I should figure out who that is. I recognize this all of a sudden. Terminals, terminals, terminals. Some cool s 100 system that I have no idea what it is. A Genesis, because, come on, yeah. Uh, deck stuff, I think. More piles of just cool junk Cubus cards. Because why not? Yep, and then SGI's part two. Oh, and these are neat. I don't exactly know what these are, but it's like their weather channel. Like visualization boxes, maybe? I don't know, but this is very, it's unique and interesting. Oh, they have placards. I suppose I could just read them next time. And of course, they have an Apple TV tuning in, which is pretty sick. Anyway, for USGI nerds, there's more. See, another personal iris. That's three. So I'll have to ask them what exactly this setup is, but it looks very interesting. Uh, what else? I mean, we're coming to the end. This was, I'm sad they turned this off, because this was a display of various, of uh, genera, um, uh, of the genera list system running on all kinds of whoa 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 I did not notice this that's not is it a sun it's either a sun or an early SGI hey Nico welcome to the very end of the tool but yes very cool because they've got uh, 
Yep, that's an Alpha Station, and it was running Genera. And uh, that's uh, Vax, it was running Genera. So that was, that was pretty cool. People were messing around with that. And I didn't get a chance, so maybe hopefully I can poke at it tomorrow. And more stuff that I have no idea what it is, but dang if it doesn't look cool. Terminally goodness. There you go. There you go. It's a scene. And man, that's it. Routed today. And that's it. So if you're ever wondering, that's what a VCF Midwest looks like. It's pretty sick. Uh, that means, so I've now spent a fair amount of time at two out of three of the major VCFs. I feel really bad if there's another one that I don't know about, but I've been to East. I've been to East two times, I've been to Midwest two times, and now uh, I'm being told that I have to go to West. So it goes on the list. Uh, oh, the X-16 is here. Does anybody want to... Uh, I'll, I'll take you over there real quick, because I haven't looked closely at it, but it's here. So, let's run over. Uh, okay. I'll cut it off. Tom, and then tie it in with the resistor. Doody-doody-doo. All of the stuff that I just didn't cover at all. Doody-doo. Things, stuff. Things that people just brought here and plopped. Uh, an IBM office machine. Oh, this was a cool... It's a teletype uh, tape punch that he had set up to some stuff, and it was running, and it was very cool. Anyway, uh, just swing you by the X-16 real quick. So there you go. There it is. I hope you're enjoying it. There it is. Okay, that's that. I'm, I'm out here. I'm going to go see if we're getting dinner or whatever. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm surprised that, you know, this is a 20-minute stream, so I'm surprised that people managed to catch it. So, good on you. And, yeah, still here for another day. Most people will start leaving pretty early tomorrow, though, but it's been a good time. And people are checking out my stuff which is great. It keeps happening, even though it's really dumb. Uh, but people seem to really understand how dumb it is, because, I mean, it's no more or less dumb than this entire thing, so let's celebrate that. Let your freak flag fly, huh? Okay. Uh, oh, and yes, comments on the shirt. Um, I had to get this one as soon as... It's just so, it's just so fantastically funny. It's, uh, I've been vax in it. Okay, thank you very much guys for uh, tuning in, and I'm going to go have some more fun without you. Sorry. I hope you have a good night. See ya. Love ya. Bye-bye.